Back to reality. I love that show. It's very hip to be on the show. Best show since no other show. Happy Tuesday. I love you guys. You are hilarious. It's Tuesday. It's only Tuesday. I absolutely love you. You're thoroughly entertaining. I'm very excited. It's Tuesday. Now the Tuesday. Come on. It's showtime. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Both Spectre and the Peanuts movie reinvigorated moviegoers this past weekend. Spectre took an easy first place spot with an estimated $73 million to become the second biggest Bond opening of all time. It's the 24th film in the 53-year-old series. The Peanuts movie provided a family-friendly alternative to James Bond's guns and martinis and took second place with a strong $45 million. A guitar stolen from the late John Lennon in the 1960s sold for $2.4 million on Saturday at an auction in California, fetching one of the highest prices ever for an item of rock and roll memorabilia. The 1962 Gibson acoustic guitar had for decades been in the possession of John McCaw, a musician who bought it in the late 1960s without knowing it had been stolen from the legendary Beatle several years before, said auctioneer Darren Julian. Half of the proceeds from the sale of the guitar, which was stolen from Lennon at a December 1963 Christmas concert, will go toward the Spirit Foundation, a charitable organization that he and Yoko Ono created. The holiday cups at Starbucks this year are just plain red. No snowflakes, no dog sledding, no Santa Claus, nothing. Just a red cup with the Starbucks logo. And some people are freaking out about it. They say it isn't Christmassy enough. Well, Starbucks held a press conference to explain. Thank you for being here. Those of us from Starbucks would like to address the recent accusations that our holiday cups will be all red and no longer represent Christmas. First of all, our logo is green. Put that on a red cup and you have two distinguishable colors of Christmas, red and green. But some are complaining, why no snowflakes like before? Snowflakes have nothing to do with Christmas. It's just frozen rain. What about dogs on sleds? Again, dogs and sleds have no religious meaning whatsoever, unless you belong to the Church of the Sledding Dog. Snowman, not religious. Ornaments, sometimes religious, but not the ones we were putting on the cups. So for all of you hashtagging, Merry Christmas, Starbucks, why don't you hashtag something to do? Hashtag mic drop. That's all I got. Architects have named an apartment complex in Singapore as the world building of the year. It's considered the best for its ingenuity, imagination, and the fact that nowhere on the building is the word Trump. Khloe Kardashian's upcoming talk show has been pushed back. Oh no, now we'll never get to see or hear from Khloe Kardashian. Meanwhile, Khloe says she'll get some cosmetic work done on her face eventually, which may be the first time ever the words Kardashian and work have been used in the same sentence. O.J. Simpson claims he never had sex with Kris Jenner, and as proof, he points to the fact that Kris Jenner is still alive. Oprah Winfrey announced her annual list of favorite things, and topping the list for the 10th year in a row, a totally platonic girls weekend with Gail. A 47-year-old woman gave birth an hour after finding out she was pregnant, so I guess that makes it what, 20 Duger kids now, right? Presidential candidate Ben Carson lied about being offered a scholarship to West Point. Carson's campaign is now no longer on fire, but his pants are. And a new study says that the most dangerous part of your home when you're drunk is the stairs. For me, it's Amazon.com. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. The Jewel Radio Network, proud to present Frank D'Angelo and his 18-piece band Fall Concert Tour. Friday, November 13th at Casino Teatro Lac Lame in Gatineau. Saturday, November 14th at Teatro Corona Virgin Mobile. Saturday, November 21st at the Garrick Entertainment Center in Winnipeg. And Saturday, November 28th at Stonewall's Restaurant in Hamilton.